Hi guys, welcome back. Today I want to go over with all of you my picks for the Sephora uh, savings event that's going on right now and it will run until April 24th. I just want to give you a little bit of insight. Um, it will be 30% off of all Sephora products. So that goes from makeup and brushes and tools. And then uh, Sephora Rouge members will get 20% off. And Sephora VIB members will get 15% off. And Sephora Insiders will get 10% off. So you have to use the code SAVE now to get those percentages off of the products that you're interested in purchasing. So for those of you that are new here, my name is Josephine Fusco. I am a professional makeup artist based out of New York, and I absolutely love sharing all things beauty here on this channel. Um, and I'm excited to go over some products here with all of you. You know, I have to be quite honest with you. I wasn't sure that I was going to do this because I do find that the beauty space is completely saturated and even as a professional makeup artist for myself i can find it to be extremely overwhelming i try to keep it very real here on this channel i really don't like sugarcoating anything and i try to give you recommendations based off of my professional expertise and is also as my personal expertise i've been in the beauty industry for 20 years now and i started wearing makeup when i was probably 13 or 14 years old when i was allowed to start wearing makeup and i've really tested out a lot of products through the years and what I am finding is that it really is very saturated um, and can be quite overwhelming. So I'm hoping that today with this video that you will be able to get some products maybe that you would like to, you know, tweak your makeup that you have at home. And now that we're in spring and we're heading into summer, maybe you want to zhuzh up what you have at home or you want to tweak some stuff. Maybe you want to change something. So I hope that you'll find this really helpful. With that said, let's get started. So I'm going to break this down into a few different categories. So when it comes to makeup, applying makeup with brushes is super important. Do I think that you need 20 to 30 brushes for a makeup application? Absolutely not. As a pro makeup artist, I have probably, I'd say, somewhere around 25 brushes that I take with me, and I'm happy to go over more details with you on brushes if you'd like, but if you want some good makeup brushes that are not going to break the bank, I have to be quite honest with you that the Sephora Collection brushes are actually really, really good. I just picked up myself a bunch from this sale, um, and I got the Sephora Foundation Brush, I got the Eyeliner Brush. I picked up the slanted concealer brush. I also picked up the blush brush. I picked up a couple of lip brushes because I like them for my kit. I love using lip brushes. And I also picked up the pencil sharpener because it's a really good one. And I also got the Sephora organic cotton pads. I just, I love them for when I'm doing my own cleansing on myself and my clients. So. I'm going to put pictures here as I'm speaking about them, um, but they're pretty much self-explanatory. But I will tell you that they're really good quality. They're 30% off right now, and they do a really, really good job. So I've been testing them out, and I love them. And I think I like them even more than some of the professional ones that I have. Um, so yeah, so check those out. I will have everything linked down below so you can easily get to the product that I'm discussing if you'd like after this video is over. So next up, let's talk about skincare. You know, I have to be quite honest with all of you. I have been into skincare since my early 20s. It's something that I am just completely obsessed with. But I do find at this current time, there are just way too many skincare products on the market. So I'm not gonna sit here and tell you to try certain products from Sephora because I don't even use them. Do I think Sunday Riley is good? Yeah, I do. Do I think it's worth it to spend over $150 on a serum? No, I don't. Um, so I just, that's just my personal opinion. I like to keep my skincare very basic, but I also like to add essential oils into my skincare, and I actually create my own facial serums using carrier oils and essential oils, and I will tell you, they are far more effective than half the stuff that I've tried um, that's on the market today. So if you want to learn more about that, let me know. But just 
some just one product that I am just really, really in love with is by Moon Juice. And this is called Acid Potion. And the beauty of this product is it contains glycolic acid, lactic acid, and salicylic acid. Now, I'm not a huge fan of glycolic acid. So typically when products have glycolic acids in them, I kind of turn away from it a little bit because I find that it really can be a little too abrasive for the skin. And even my own clients have issues with glycolic acid. But there's something within this trio in the moon juice that is just simply amazing for resurfacing the skin and removing like um, some of the impurities or the dryness or where you feel your skin is getting a little congested, I find that this product really helps clean out the skin. Now, I'm a huge fan of salicylic acid. I think salicylic acid is a really great component to really bumping up the skin and getting the skin to revitalize. Many years ago, when I worked in cosmetic surgery, I used to love doing sal salicylic acid peels. I mean, they were just phenomenal. This will help smooth out your skin you want to start really slow when using this. I would say start off like maybe one to two times a week until you build up um, tolerance to it. But it really is not that abrasive, but I just love the way my skin looks at the day after I use it. So um, it also has reishi in it, which is a great antioxidant for the skin. I don't use a ton of skin tools. I do use facial cupping and gua sha. Um, Every other day, I sw switch them up. But I have to tell you, one skin tool that I think that you should definitely take advantage of um, if you're getting a higher percentage off from Sephora is the Foreo Luna Facial Cleansing Device. I've been using this device for a few years now, and I have turned so many of my clients onto this because it's a great way to clean the skin. You put just your um, your facial cleanser on it, and it's a device. It's like a sonic device, and I basically just cleanse my entire face with it after taking my makeup off, and it really helps to remove the impurities, and it ex gently exfoliates the skin, and my skin just feels amazing. I have some clients that love using it in the shower while they're taking a shower. I have some clients that love using it at night as their nighttime regimen. Sometimes they use it two to three times a week. Some use it every single night. It really depends on how sensitive your skin is. So again, I always say start slow and build your way up. Let's talk primers. So honestly, I'm not really a huge fan of makeup primers. I don't really wear makeup primers. It's been years since I've put one on myself, okay? But in my professional kit, I actually happen to like the ones from MAC. Um, just because when I'm working with someone for the first time, I do have to use a primer to see how the longevity is on that client. But for myself, every day, or even going out to a function or an event, I don't use primers. I love to see the beauty that a product, like a foundation, delivers. And that's how I really tell if the foundation is for me and for my clients. But um, if you're into primers and you... I usually what I do is if I have a client that likes a primer, I will give recommend something very lightweight for them because the truth is how many products do you want to put on your skin? You really have to put that into consideration. Skin gets very congested. The more you layer on, the more congestion your skin is going to have. This is just my personal and professional opinion from working with people for years now. So, But if there is one that you're interested in that is lightweight, and that really is like a nice light base for moving forward with your foundation. I have to actually mention the Bobbi Brown. It's called Enriched Face Base Primer. Now, I was sent this product to test out um, from the company. And I have to tell you, I was quite impressed with it. So I did really like the way my foundation was laying on the skin afterwards, after I put it on, and it wasn't very heavy. Now you can use this product as a moisturizer. I just wouldn't. Um, I would use my moisturizer and everything that I do first, and then I would put on this as the second layer, okay, before my foundation. But a thin layer is really all you need. Um, it is enriched with grapefruit and geranium, which have some nice scents to it, even though you get a little nervous when there are um, scents in a product. This one isn't really heavily scented. It's actually really good because I can get headaches from certain products if they're heavily scented. But it's also a great base for makeup. So if you're looking for something very simple and very light, definitely check this out. Let's talk foundation. So I absolutely love 
foundations that bring out the beauty in your skin. Okay. Now everybody has d different type of skin types and textures. Okay. But as we're venturing from, uh, fall and winter, now we're getting into spring, warmer weather is on its way. I have to tell you that I absolutely love and go back and forth with these two foundations all the time. It's the Ilia True Skin Serum Foundation. Um, this is like your skin, but a little bit better, not a lot of coverage. It really just looks so nice on the skin. It really does. And I have so many of my clients that don't like a heavy makeup look and when they're looking for something to just look good, you know, just want to go in and out the door and not have a heavy makeup application, I will always send them to the Ilia True Skin Serum Foundation. So um, it's, it's lightweight, it's clean beauty. I am very, very much into clean beauty. I think it's really important that we know what we're putting on our skin and our body. Uh, it's a big component to our health and our hormones as women. It's super important. So if you're ready to start making those transitions, I really do love Ilia. It's a great brand, okay? We also have, my other option is the Kosas Revealer Foundation. So if you've been following me here for a long time, you know that I absolutely loved the Kosas Revealer concealer as a foundation. I told everyone about this concealer as a foundation because I loved the consistency of it and I absolutely loved the way it fell on my skin. I loved the way it looked. I used it all year round and then sure enough I guess people really loved it um, as a foundation. Uh, I bragged about it so much all over social media so I could just imagine how many people went out and bought it but they came out with the foundation. Now, it took me a while to actually jump onto the foundation because I was so in love with the concealer, I just couldn't be bothered. And then when I was giving my makeup lessons to a few of my clients, quite a few of them actually had the foundation available because they wanted something very lightweight and something for everyday use. So it's a wonderful, wonderful foundation. A little bit goes a long way. It's buildable. It's creamy in texture. So the Ilia is more like that thin serum consistency, but not watery, not like super liquidy. Um, the Kosas is creamier. So think their concealer but in a creamier version for the skin so i just absolutely love it i think it has great coverage with a glow okay and um you can actually build it up if you want more of like a medium coverage and you want a little bit more you could add like two pumps but if you want your skin to show you could do like less than a pump or just like dot it around and then buff it out so those two foundations for me are worth the hype I absolutely love the two of them. If you have oily skin, you may not want to go to either of these, but I think if you have oily skin, Ilia will probably be your best bet. And if you're looking for something with more coverage, okay, I want to give you guys an option here because to be quite honest with you, nothing has given me a wow factor lately. Like what I have in my kit, if it's, I am very big on if it's not broke, don't fix it. And what I have in my kit is what has been with me for just years. I just love them. If you guys want to see that, let me know. But full coverage from Sephora, I have to tell you, medium to full coverage is the Patrick Star Turn Up the Base Blurring Foundation. I've tried it quite a few times and I just love the consistency of it. I love the coverage on it. It's matte coverage, but you can definitely tweak it. It's almost like a blurring foundation mixed with like a balm. So you're not gonna get oily, but you're gonna get really good coverage from it. Now, I wanna share with you what's been on my radar the last few months. And I haven't had the opportunity to go and buy them because I've been like, oh, I don't know, you know. So let me tell, let me share with you guys what's been on my radar. It's the Valentino, Very Valentino foundation because this is a full coverage foundation. So if you're looking for something that has a little bit more coverage, um, and that's going to last all day. I've been doing a lot of research on this. I think that's definitely going to be a winner. The other one is the House Labs. I love Kosas so much, and um, I had quite a few people mention the House Labs to me, and I think I'm going to bite the bullet and go and give it a try because it looks absolutely beautiful. It's just, again, how many foundations can you possibly have? It's completely saturated. I mean, it's like it's very overwhelming, even for me as a makeup artist. Um, I also want to revisit Makeup Forever. So years ago, when I actually revamped my entire kit, we're going back probably about a decade ago, 
Um, I really went right in with Make a Forever HD foundation, and I loved also their matte velvet. When they discontinued things, I got really disappointed because I really did not like how they reformulated everything. So once I was done with their products, I just kind of phased them out and went in with other stuff. But I do want to revisit the Makeup Forever HD Foundation um, because I think that they might have tweaked it again and I'm excited to see what it looks like uh, because this is something that I might add into my kit. And then the other one that I'm looking into is the Shiseido Synchro Skin Self Refreshing Foundation. I have heard amazing things about this and this has been on my radar for a few months now. Um, I'm probably gonna bite the bullet and buy that one as well. So I just wanted to share those with you because in case you're interested to see like where professionally my eyes have been going like that I wanna try, those are it, okay? Let's talk concealer. So concealer gets a little tricky. You know, there's liquids, there's creams, there's just so many on the market right now and I haven't gotten much of a wow factor um, out of what I've been trying because I do find a lot of movement happens on some of the concealers that I've been trying out. So I really typically always turn to NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. So I find that it's great for all skin types. Um, if you like to set your makeup and you like powders, this will work very well for those of you that like to set it. If you're like me and you don't like to set your concealer, this will work very well for you as well. I mean, you can go either way with it. It's a staple. It's a great concealer. It's been around forever and I just find that it's worth it. Now they do have the soft matte that comes in the pot. A lot of people love that. Um, I heard that it's it's got more coverage and what's nice is that it dries down really well. Um, I just haven't tried it yet, but that's another option. That's kind of like where I would go when it comes to concealers and I have other stuff in my pro kit, but that's that's pretty much it. With brows, it can get a little tricky because everybody has a different way of doing their brows. I personally don't like a painted on brow. I see that we're kind of stemming finally away from that. Um, and you're seeing a lot more natural brows, but I'm also seeing a lot of brows that are laminated. And while I think it's absolutely beautiful in pictures and I love the way it looks, it's a little bit much when you see the person in, in, in real life, in person. So, but anyway, um, I have been a ride or die with Anastasia brow whiz pencils for years we're going probably over a decade now so uh, usually that's just my ride or die um, but lately what i've been finding is with the anastasia and i don't know if you guys have experienced this either with the brow wiz pencils something's just a little bit off with the pigment i don't know if it's they change something i just find sometimes it's not laying on the skin as nice as i would like so i actually went out and tried a couple different ones and I actually went with the Hourglass Arch Brow Micro Sculpting Pencil, and I am in love with it. It's a very, very sharp, thin tip. It's flat, it's not pointed, and I can really define my brow however I like. So I can make hair-like strokes, I can thicken it up, um, I can give myself more pigment, lighter pigment. Um, I actually have it on today, and I just love the way it looks on my brows. It's just, it, it to me, it's just perfect, okay? That's what I feel. And I also like the Kosas Air Brow Gel. Um, they have the colored ones and then they have the clear. I just like the pigment on those. If you're into that look, um, and you, or let's just say you have a really full brow but you just wanna even them out a little bit, then I like the Kosas for that as well. I think there's a good color payoff on that as well. Let's talk about contour. I have to be quite honest with you guys. I'm not really a huge fan of contour. You're probably saying, Josephine, you're a makeup artist. What do you mean you don't like contour? I don't know, I just don't really like a, a contour. I find that it can be way too heavy. Um, it'll look nice in the camera. It'll look nice in an Instagram post. It'll look nice in videos. But then when you see that person in person, in real life, um, it's just a little bit too much. So, but, um, so for me, contour is not something that I truly, truly focus on for everyone, unless I have someone that specifically really wants like a strong highlight and a contour, absolutely no problem. I'll definitely do it. I don't really do it on myself. 
Um, if anything, what I like to do on myself is I like to actually take a matte bronzer, um, maybe like uh, one shade deeper, two shades at the most, deeper than my natural skin tone, and then I will just actually go to the high points and I'll sculpt out a little bit um, and it'll give me a little bit more uh, color to my face where it just won't look as flat. That's if I'm feeling fancy. I'll do a little bit of that. Um, but in, in, in reality, what I like to actually do with contour is I like to take two, maybe three blush shades, and I actually like to contour the face, the cheekbones with that. So I'll do like a deeper shade, higher up, and then I'll come in like with a lighter or medium shade lower down and it just looks so beautiful you know you have to understand that not everybody likes um i guess a very snatched look or a very heavy glam um and you have to be willing and capable as a makeup artist to say it's okay you know just because maybe other makeup artists might love that when i do it on a client they may be petrified to do it and i can tell you that i've heard a lot of horror stories when it comes to contour so um but I will tell you that if you are into contour, there is a product that I think is worth it to have it as part of your makeup uh, stash. And this is the Makeup Forever HD Skin Cream Contour and Highlight Sculpting Palette. And what's beautiful about this one is that you have everything that you need in there. You have the highlight shades, you have the contour shades, you have um, the shimmers. Like it gives you everything you need, neutrals and warms and cools. So for me, I think it's great. I was actually thinking of purchasing this one a while back, but for my pro kit, I go in, I went in with the RCMA uh, palette. Um, and you guys, I'm happy to show you how to use that. Just let me know. Um, and let's just say you don't want to get that palette, palette, but you want to contour. I'll give you guys a really easy option is to get any concealer that you like, like and just go like two shades up from that um, and use that to contour your face, your nose, your chin, your neck. It's going to be perfect, okay? I mean, you could even get these things from the drugstore. You don't necessarily have to do um, Sephora brands. I mean, you can go with a Sephora brand because the the... the the products are actually good um, and they're inexpensive, so you don't have to spend a lot of money on it. Um, I never really bought into the hype over the Charlotte Tilbury wands. I think one of the blushes I liked from her, but that was pretty much about it. I didn't really like the contour wands. It just, it just wasn't for me. Um, and it's not something that I would like to use on my clients personally. Next up, we have eyes. Now, eyeshadow, there are a lot. There's a lot of eyeshadows out there. Um, and if... You are looking for something that you can literally do your makeup with every day or going out. I have to be quite honest with you, the Tarte palettes are really ultimately the way to go. You get great color payoff, you don't get a lot of fallout, and they just look good on everybody. So my particular one that I love the most is the um, Tartlet in Bloom, but I have I think two or three other palettes in my professional kit. And I have other expensive palettes, and I have to be honest with you, I always go back to the Tarte palettes. I just absolutely love them. I think they're totally worth it. Their shimmers are not like chunky and they don't move, and you can apply them with your fingers if you'd like. And I just find that every time I use these palettes on my clients, they're always like, What what palette is that? You know, it's Tartlet, Tartlet, Tartlet palettes, Tartlet and Bloom. And then I have the other juicy palette, the, the pink, the one with the pinks. They love that. And then I have an all matte one from Tarte. Um, and you really can do any look with them. So if you're on the hunt for some palettes, Professionally, I really like the Tarte ones. Now, let's just say you don't want a lot on your eyes. Like today, I really don't have a lot on my eyes. I have um, this cream shadow, gel shadow um, that I use from Kosas and a liner from Jones Road. So I really, really love the Kosas 10 Second Eye Gels because they're fast. If you're the type of person that doesn't like to wear a lot of makeup, or let's just say you, on a particular day, don't wanna wear a lot of makeup, you want something just to zhuzh up your eyes like real quick, I absolutely love the 10 second eye gels. And basically what I do is I put a little bit on my lid, I take my finger, I just uh, move it around on my lid, I let it dry, it takes like a few seconds, I put on my eyeliner, mascara, and I'm done with my eye makeup. And I love it, and it just gives a little hint of color, it's perfect. And you know what? Now that we're transitioning into summer, very soon, we're spring and summer, 
What's nice is that um, it's gonna look so, so pretty and effortless. And I love effortless makeup. I absolutely love it. Don't get me wrong, I like a full glam, especially when I have somewhere to go. But um, I just, I absolutely adore these. So definitely check those out. Mascara. So I absolutely love the Ilia Limitless Lash Mascara. It has been one of my absolute favorite mascaras for a very long time now. And every time I switch out and I try something else, I still go back to the Ilia Limitless Lash. And what I love about it is it has two sides to the wand. Um, there's like a comb and then there's the brush. And I can actually, you know, move, maneuver my lashes the way that I want. I get massive length and massive volume. Um, I also like the fact that it's clean beauty, but it stays put and it doesn't, um, smudge on the eye so it's like it's just they're really really good it, it's just a really good mascara um other options i really like are the say uh, is the say beauty mascara and also the tower 28 obviously both are clean beauty um but that's that's pretty much it um if you're not into those i have to be honest with you don't waste your money just go to the drugstore pick up one that you like i don't think it's necessary to spend that much on a mascara unless you're going for clean beauty and now with this discount it's totally worth it to do it so for lips there's a lot when it comes to less lips okay now um these are my ride or die for myself and i absolutely love all the lip pencils and the lip glosses from lawless I mean, the glosses, every time I wear them, I get compliments on what my lip shade is. You know, oh my God, your lips look great. What's your lip shade? Now, I don't really, I don't do anything to my uh, my face. I don't have any injections, no Botox, no fillers. But when I wear her um, gloss and lip liner, my lips are super juicy. They're high gloss, high shine, and they just look amazing on my lips. I love it when I have somewhere to go and I feel like bumping up my look. I just think it's, they're amazing. If you want something a little bit more every day, I would definitely look into the Tower 28 or the Kosas Lip Oils. Those two pretty much go hand in hand and I have pistachio from Tower 28 and I love it. It's just super sheer on me. So that's something like I'll run around with every day if I have to. Um, but the lawless ones are pigmented and they're plumping and they just seriously look so so good now when it comes to blush i'm going to be quite honest with you i feel that this is really like a personal it, it's something that you really have to fall in love with the brand because all blushes are different but i've done very very well through the years with nars blushes because they're pigmented and their cream blushes are like really amazing so if you were to ask me josephine out of everything that you see at sephora what would you recommend for blush? And I would really go with the NARS blushes, both the cream and the powder. I just love them. If you can get a palette um, from the NARS, it'll be so worth your money because you'll have a few different colors in there if you can snatch that. And then the other option, to be quite honest with you, if you don't want to spend a lot of money on blushes, and right now they're 30% off, go with the Sephora brand blushes because they're very pigmented and they really, really look good on the skin. And I've swatched a couple of them out when I was in there and I was like, wow, these are really, really nice. So that's pretty much where I, what my recommendations would be for all of you. Um, I really like to keep it simple. I, I think that less is more when it comes to makeup um, because then you really don't have the opportunity to really try and utilize products the way you want to. When you have like an abundance of things, it's like, do you really get to that product? Like me, I'll stick with the foundation for a while. Like I'll just hang on to it, especially if I love it because I really don't want to try anything else because I'm just so happy with the type of coverage I'm getting or the, the longevity or the look out of it. I just, I, I'll stick with it. I'm like a ride or die when it comes to that. And I think because there's so much out there with influencing, it can be very, very, very overwhelming. And I think everybody is looking for products that maybe they can fall in love with. And it gets hard because there's so much out there. And then you wind up spending like thousands of dollars on makeup. You're not happy with what you have, but you got it because so-and-so said this, or this is the newest hype, or this is... So, it, you know, I hope I just kind of narrowed it down for all of you today. If you want to see anything else based off of this, please let me know. If you want to see more clean beauty options, 
please let me know. I'm happy to discuss those with you guys. But thank you for being here. I'm glad you stopped into this video. And again, any questions, let me know. I'm always happy to help and I'll see you guys in my next video.